the best revenge is actually not taking any revenge at all hi you're listening to cynthia from relax radio i just want to talk about the mistakes that each one of us would have done yes you me yes everyone would have done this mistake of taking revenge and we think that we would have accomplished something or it might give us happiness for that very moment but here i am to tell you that the best revenge is actually not taking any revenge at all it's not even holding on to any anger it's moving on with your life and it's showing them that life is so much better after they are gone See, it's always easy to blame those who have wronged us. It's always easy to blame those that have made our lives miserable. We keep telling this. If it wasn't for them, I would have been happy. If it wasn't for them, I would have completed my education with good grades. If it wasn't for them, I would have achieved my goals and been successful in my career. We keep blaming If they didn't do this I would have been where I want to be. See most of us get so caught up in blaming. We continue to blame and destroy our own life even after that person has gone from your life. Most people hold on to the blame because it's easier than moving on. having an excuse or a story of why they aren't where they want to be gets them that sympathy from others the victim role gives them more comfort and it's much easier than taking up responsibilities and moving on with their lives however it's not and will never be a happy place to stay those who take up responsibilities of their life are wanting to move on and put their past behind them are much more likely to gain freedom happiness peace and success now this does not mean there aren't horrible people in the world that have done wrong it's not condoning others behavior it's taking back the power they have from you when you are the only one suffering long after they are gone who wins if you keep blaming them who wins if you move on forget about them and create the best life and success that you could have ever imagined who wins if you move on who wins if you forget about them who wins if you create your best life full of success and abundance who wins it's you you win take back your power that they have been controlling you all this while of what you need to do what you need to think what you need to wear and they are dominating you and making your life worthless stop take back your power go blame them for what they've done but don't blame them for what you have not done blame them for all the pain they gave you blame them for backstabbing you blame them for breaking your trust but bless them for making you so much more stronger and making you better go blame them for the mental torture they gave you go blame them for treating you bad but thank them for showing you exactly what you don't want You can blame the world for bringing them into your life but then get grateful for all the lesson they taught you in all the strength they gave you in all the perspective it gave you know in your heart if they knew better they would do better know in your heart if you don't need take that negative energy that they gave you how good does it feel to take that baggage off that shoulder to focus on building your future what a blessing that should be just let that go and move forward 
and never ever look back. The best revenge is not taking any revenge. It is simply moving on with your life and creating the best version of yourself. And always remember, God makes you go through these uncomfortable situations, otherwise you would have never moved on. And now listen, take back your power and never look back or run back to what broke you. Trust God, look forward and move on because your best is yet to come.